A while back, I wanted to know the status of my gas cooktop in my home automation system so I can perform some actions like turn on the house air circulation, send myself a reminder when the gas cooktop is left on for a long time or if I left the house with the cooktop on. So I will share how I did that in this video. Gas is a very tricky thing to work with and it goes without saying that you'll need to be very careful. If I install a gas meter in series with my intake using some cheap unreliable devices, then I am prone to device failures and that can put my family members in harm's way, so that option was a no-go for me. Most gas cooktops have a spark, an LED indicator when the cooktop is on, so I can use that to my advantage. One way of doing it is by installing a light sensor right next to the LED. Then we can tell depending if the LED is on or not the status of the cooktop. This can then be used to trigger some home automation routines. The problem with this approach, aside from the eyesore, is that it could be triggered by external light sources, like the sun or even some pot lights. But there is a much simpler approach to tackle this, we detect the power used by the cooktop itself. Most, if not all, gas cooktops require a constant source of energy for the igniter and the on LED indicator. If we put a smart plug that has a current sensor, we can detect if the cooktop is on or not by using that LED indicator. In my case, I used a CE power plug which I flash with Tasmora. But you don't need this exact plug, you can use any smart plug that can measure the current and that's compatible with your home automation system. On my device, I use this MQTT topic for the current sensor and created a new sensor in Home Assistant. And by testing, I noticed that the power reading shows 1 watt when the LED is on and 0 watts when it's off. This made it extremely easy to create an automation when the cooktop is on. For example, I turn my house air circulation on when the cooktop is on for more than 10 minutes. I also used it to turn on a red LED which was part of my smart backsplash project. This made it easy for me to check the status of the cooktop even from across the kitchen. If you are planning on using Tasmora, you have to be very careful with one feature called power on state. This needs to be set to 4. This will disable the relay control. Remember, you are using this plug just to get the power usage. If you accidentally turn off the relay, the cooktop igniter will be disabled and you don't want that. Another option is to use a current detector like this one. This way you don't even have to worry about disabling relays. And this is how I was able to check the status of my cooktop in my home automation system. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.